Welcome back. Joining me on set this afternoon is former Major League Baseball star and Palm Desert resident Steve Garvey, who today announced his bid for California's U.S. Senate seat, formerly held by Dianne Feinstein. Welcome. Thanks. A big day for you and your family. Yeah. We're off and running, finally. Uh, the anticipate, we, it, it was the worst kept secret, I think. <laughs> well, and today's the, the day. Sure, it and We're is. happy for you. Thank you. You are a Republican looking to fill the seat that's been held by Democrats for decades. Uh, you have not held any other political office. What do you bring to the table and why now? Well, you know, over 50 years ago, I came to California, September 1st of 1969. Uh, the Dodgers brought me up for uh, September, like they do with minor league players. I'd uh, never been in California. Uh, took a cab from the airport to Chavez Ravine. Uh, they took me downstairs and I went into a locker and it had six on it. It was a major league uniform and mm -hmm. my dreams came true. That day I became a major league baseball player. And uh, it's been a love affair over the last 50 years. You know, 20 years playing uh, and then living throughout uh, Southern California uh, and finally ending up in the Coachella Valley. and. Uh, We've put deep roots here, as you know, as we know with our children. Uh, and being going back to Washington frequently for advocacy, for charities and so forth, and, and different campaigns. Um, but then being a concerned citizen and watching uh, the state over the years. You know, when I first came here, it was the heartbeat of America. Mm -hmm. You came here with your dreams. Uh, you grew a family. You built businesses. You developed careers. Uh, and over the last few years, it's, uh, it's not the heartbeat anymore. It's a murmur, and I think those of us that have been concerned uh, feel that uh, these this chorus of voices uh, over these last couple of decades have told we the people that you know, this is what's good for you. Your life really is good, but the quality of life is not as good as what we, we know to be California when it's vibrant and alive. And I think uh, I started early in this year looking at, at, at TV, listening to the voices, and wondering is there somebody whose voice I can relate to? Somebody that I can get on board for and use you know, who I am to support them, and hopefully they'll go back to, to a dysfunctional Washington, and, uh, and, and career politicians who are more concerned about the business of politics mm -hmm. than, than uh, about you and I. And uh, there was no voices. I think uh, California has been a malaise. Uh, nobody really wants to step up and, and fight the good fight. They know how daunting it is. And um, I said, well, maybe I can, let me ask a few questions. Well, what and would be the answer to some of your questions? What, what do you bring to the table? Number one, is there a pathway for someone who is a conservative model, uh in this state after all these years of, of uh, progressive dominance? Uh, and then everybody would say, well, you have very little chance. Good luck. God bless. Uh, and then we we'll talk a little bit, and you know, they'd say, you know, Gar if there was anybody that could do this, it'd be you. Yeah. Which made me think, why don't I do a little exploration? I went around the state. Uh, I've talked to people in all the different you know regions and asked them, you know, what are your problems? What are your challenges? And for five, 10, 15 minutes, they'd open their souls. That life for them is is uh, almost a depression. Uh, they're suppressed, whether it's at the grocery store, at the gas tank, uh, affordable housing, all these things. They don't have a voice, and they know me. They know who I am. That's right, and it is going to be a challenge. You're yeah. going to be up against Democrats, but sure. this will shake things up, I'm guessing, yeah. and we're looking forward to see what happens. Well, it's going to be a Steve Garvey uh, campaign. It's going to be about common sense and compassion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be building a consensus, and, and I, I believe a year from now, um, when the balloting is all done, I'll be the next elected U.S. Senator. I'll be able to take the voice of the people of California to Washington and, and be a voice of change. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate Thank you me. coming in this afternoon. Thanks, well, the primary election is March 5th. Mr. Garvey will have to finish in the top two spots to get the general election ballot in November of 2024.